beautiful sunny morning. Beautiful sunny morning. And the great news is the second hatch, I'm finding these everywhere. These are the swallow eggs, eggshells. And when the baby hatches, the parents take these and drop them out. So I'm finding them all over the place, which is great. They like cleaning up their nests after their babies are born. So there we go. Swallow eggs everywhere or evidence of chicks being hatched, the second hatch. <laughs> you are in such a bouncy mood. She's gone. You scared her away. <laughs> if I walk past, she might pounce on Java. <laughs> no, she's not. Never mind. <laughs> it's definitely seed collecting time. There's loads of stuff right here that could so do with collecting seeds, like the fox gloves. Uh, let's see. These, the cockle belt. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you with my tin. I wasn't going to drop it on you. Um, the, uh, the Canterbury bells. These are ready. These are ready for collecting. These, the uh, toad flax is ready. And look at the foxgloves. They are so ripe. So all I do, uh, this might take two hands. Let's see if I can do this so that you can see what I'm doing. Well, it's into the sun. But all I'm doing is with the tin, I'll take, uh, let's see. I don't know if I can do, oh, here, these. I just do this and load them into this, like that. Literally, they're that ripe, like that. Then um, I'm gonna have to angle the camera in a different way. Cause I think you're looking directly into the sun. So I'm like a black face. No expression. Okay. Oh, you can see me now. Now, this, this beautiful stem of foxgloves, I just pull it like that and drop it in. And the same here. The top few aren't ripe. They're still sort of green, but there's so many that are now ripe that I can just drop them in. There we go. See what else is there? Huh? More foxgloves. I can get oceans of foxgloves now. Loads of them and loads of them. And I just scatter the seeds by hand. I'm not precious about them. I don't sow them into um, trays. I scatter them where I would like foxgloves to grow. Okay, I'm going to show you what I've got. Oh. Everybody wants to help. <laughs> Everybody wants to demonstrate my foxglove seed collecting. So basically, these are all the foxglove seed capsules. So let's see if I grab one. So here we go. Now, in there are a huge amount of seeds. And what I do is I do this. Dogs are all having fun behind me. Now, look at this. So. <laughs> they're all playing behind me. <laughs> oh, and you've come over to help sort seeds, huh? Yes, yes. Now, 
This is just, look at all those foxglove seeds. Now, I'm not worried about what color these foxgloves are. These are all going to be native purples and pinks and etc. They're not going to be any fancy ones. But look at the amount of seed there. And that's just me doing this. And that is only from not even all the foxgloves that are there. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're just sitting here and the dogs are playing all around us. You beautiful white valerian. Anyway, yeah. So this, I will be crunching. I'm going to go and collect more uh, foxglove seeds. And you will see there is going to be loads and loads of them. <laughs> there they go again. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll just keep doing this for a little while. I'm going to go and collect more because there. I'll show you some of the other locations where there's loads and loads and loads. <laughs> Uh, she's going to get some water. <laughs> oh, they're off into the garden. <laughs> Where I'm going to get more foxgloves. Oh, they're back out again. <laughs> they're getting so huge. Okay, they are tiny dogs. But that is me with my arm extended. And they're still taller. They're being magnificent this year. So over here are a whole bunch more of the foxgloves. Ooh, I've got to prune back this rose. This rose needs a pruning back. Anyway, it usually flowers all year long. So if I prune it back, it'll flower again. But look at these foxgloves. These seeds are all ripe for the plucking. So I'm really gonna fill this up. What's really cool is these wonderful butterfly bush, if you want to call them that. Um, I did loads of cuttings from a friend of mine because I love this color. And so this autumn I'll be able to dig. This is my cutting bed. And I always get cuttings and stab them into the soil. Look at this one. This is a really cool one. Look at that. It's got that lovely yellow. So I, this autumn, I will be making more cuttings of these and digging them up and transplanting them in other locations. So, oh, look, here's another one. See, when I did them as cuttings, I wasn't sure which ones were which, but this is a beauty, absolute beauty. So there's irises in here and there's a um, dogwood and what else is in here? There's other things in here. I can't think what they are off the top of my head. But yeah, oh look, the dogs are tired now. I'm gonna collect these seeds now. Nope, they don't smell. Now, foxgloves are only a biannual, which means the year you sow them, they start growing a floret. And then uh, the following year, they continue growing or they come up the following year. And then the year after that, they flower. So these might not appear until next year as plants. And then the following year, they'll flower. So foxgloves are not instant gratification. They take a bit of time. Ooh, I'm being showered with seeds. This one is magnificently huge. And I'll scatter these seeds all over wherever I want foxgloves. Essentially, I could pull these plants up now because they are, um, they won't be flowering again and I've harvested their seeds. This one in here. Now the seeds aren't ripe all the way up. 
I don't know if you, you can't see these ones here. Oop, I pulled this one up by mistake. Oh, I can smell the fox. There's a fox going by. So the dogs are chasing the fox. Fox has this incredible musky smell. This is full of the seed heads. And I scrunch this around and let it dry. And then there will be loads of foxglove seeds for me to sow in the woods and all over the place. <laughs> and look who's coming. Are you coming to jump on me? Hmm? I have a feeling I'm going to have a scratched back any second now. Oh, no, I'm not. He's gone over there instead. <laughs> I'm mowing long grass in one location. This fella came jumping out. So I'm going to release him in the long grass that I'm not going to mow. Do you want to go? Come on. Come on. Boom. There we go. You can see how he blends right in. Disappears. Hot really hot day here in Ireland for Ireland not for the rest of Europe I've treated these three lame ladies I've cleaned their feet and sprayed them and I'm now shearing this girl you can see I'm got the vast majority of the fleece off so shearing her finish her up it's gonna take two hands this is the company so I better finish her she's nearly done so um, that will be the end of this year's shearing when I've done her <laughs> it took a while I'm dripping dripping with sweat shearing is very hot work <laughs> but she's nearly there just a little bit more <laughs> I'm sitting in a lot of her fleece right here. It's all very matted. It'll be very good for mulching under young trees. Isn't that right? Yay, nearly done. <laughs> I'll show you my shearing assistant. My shearing assistant is sitting next to me as I'm shearing. Aren't you? You're so good. My shearing, sweet shearing assistant. Okay. Back to work to finish the job. Oh.
big raven just flew overhead. Well, I'm not killing you, so the raven won't come, be coming to eat you. I'm just going to finish shearing you. She's getting annoyed now because most of this is off. She's happy and she's like, oh, leave me alone. But you can see there's a bit right there still hanging on. So I've got to get rid of that. So, okay, finish the job. All, all these plants are plants I dug up from a friend's garden. She was building. And I don't know this plant, but it's so wonderful. It looks like this when it's dangling down, but then you lift up its little trumpets and they're yellow inside. Isn't that just stunning? No idea what it was called because this is my plant rescue corner. The ferns were rescued as well. So a lot of these plants were rescued and I basically am keeping them here to grow for this season so that it can weed out weeds I don't want. So for example, in here, I don't want this stuff. This stuff goes rampant everywhere. So I'm weeding this out from amongst the roots of this guy and trying to kill, kill it. So that I don't want because it goes crazy everywhere and takes over places. So that's me murdering something I don't want because I like diversity, even in my garden. So, and these are such a beautiful blue. Look at that so gorgeous anyway i just thought i wanted to share i wanted to share the beauty of these trumpets and how gorgeous they are uh, don't look at my hands i'm doing sheepy stuff and the dogs are all here i had to get some oil i'd run out of oil back to work well the yo in the foreground is not the one i just shore there's the fleece shorn but you can see she's sun bleached and she's black. So shearing is finally done for the season. And boy, is it hot. We've had it so cold for so long. The dogs are all in the shade, whatever shade they can get. These ladies have had their feet treated and are in a lot of pain because it hurts, doesn't it? And then the dogs are eating the hoof pairings. Okay. Job done. Turn these ladies out now. Come on, ladies. Lame girls. Some of the girls are very lame. It's just the treatment is very painful. Brindle, come back. Brindle, come back. Here are the three lame ladies. Hopefully within a few days, they'll be feeling better. They get to eat some of this windfall apples, which they're chowing down on and in this shady paddock. And then I'll move them on to the next field. I thought you were gonna have that. Making myself a coffee after shearing a sheep and doing their feet, other sheep's feet. Yeah, it's lovely and cool in here. Yes, compared to outside. Good girl. Yeah. I gave you a fright. Come on, girls. Woo! Come on. Come on. Atta girls. Come on. Come 
on, girls. You move. Good girl. Come on, girls. Woo. Come on. Come on. Out of girls. Come on, Brindle. Come on. Yeah, I'll let you graze in here a minute. I'm gonna check. Oh, here comes one of the crippled girls that I worked on this morning. And a little bit. Very lame. Hopefully she'll recover. Okay. Excuse me. That's my silver birch. I don't want you eating her. No, little bit. Oh, you are always tiresome, little bit. You're going back up here. I've just got everybody out of here. At least I think I did. Come on, little bit, go on. Yeah, out. Go on, good girl. Better close the gate. Hopefully, everybody's out of here. A little bit. You are not coming back up here. You're going down to the next field. Go on. Go on. Go on. That a girl. Brindle, leave her. Okay, ladies, come on. Come on. One. Come on. Good girls. This yo is already walking better. She's still very sore and tender from the work I did on her but she's walking better. Go on. Come on. You eating the Budlia? Go on, missus. Atta boy, Java. Get them going. Come on. Enough, Java. Java, come on. Come back here. So this is the first time there's a shared gate between the flock. Woo! Oops. Sorry. So there's a shared gate, but they've been separated for quite some time. So hopefully the ears are all dried up and won't start percolating milk again. Isn't that right, little bit? Now, they should start returning their condition back to... They've dried, so now they'll return condition before the rams get introduced. Well, the rams aren't introduced for quite some time. Good few months yet. <laughs> so, these are all the foxglove seeds that I've collected. Look at that. That is seeds. That is a pile of seeds. Now, in here... There are some seeds. These black shiny ones are um, columbine. Do you see the black shiny ones? So I have friends who want just foxglove seeds. So 
I sort out like this. So I'm separating out um, the seeds. The thing you just really don't want to do is sneeze right now. Once I've separated out a pile of foxglove seeds, um, I got these as a Christmas present. They're brilliant from another friend who uh, knows I collect seeds and people ask me for seeds and I was always using kind of envelopes and all those kind of things. So all I do is that. And that is, there's more seeds in that than you'd get in a shop bought one. So I fill a few of these envelopes up see you can see it's really easy to do it all just takes a bit of time there big chunk of seeds in there um, and then uh, a lot of this other stuff these seeds I will throw out into uh, the woods and the new young tree plantations. So, let's see, all my sorted seeds, I wanna keep my sorted seeds separate so that I don't give somebody seeds that they don't need or want. Some people don't like Columbine. I love Columbine. I'm a Columbine person. That's three seed packets. I could probably do four seed packets. There we go. Might sort a few more out, but look at that. That is all vast majority. You can see the shiny seeds. That's a vast majority of foxgloves. Yay! Amazing collection. I'm gonna keep doing these sorting seeds to give to friends.